Hey guys, this is Ali with Bossup.com. I had a chance to sit down with Esther Baxter today, talk to her about her relationship with Joe Budden, his new audio track that he just released about her, and also their abusive relationship. Here's an exclusive with Bossup.com. Joe Budden just released a track. Looking like a groupie Or maybe I misunderstood When you said y'all two was making a movie Looking at the shit pal I stepped in again And to top it off Your whole ass pregnant again How'd you feel when you first heard that track? Um, I actually haven't heard um, I actually haven't heard the song I've heard, you know, people talking about it And people that, uh, like, friends and family and stuff like that They try to keep me away from listening to stuff like that And I'm not trying to listen to it. I've, I've heard the, I guess, aftermath of, of, the, of the situation, but I'm not trying to listen to it. I think it's a very crazy situation. I think it's, um, it's private, or it should be, and it's been made a public um, spectacle, and I don't appreciate it. It's very embarrassing. So the information got back to you, one of your friends called you, or you saw it on Twitter? Or... Yeah, I was, I was on um, I saw it on Twitter, um, and I was actually out of the country at the time. How'd you guys hook up? Because it seemed like that uh, once he broke up, had to break up with Tahiri, you guys just, how'd you guys meet? Well, I didn't know anything about that situation. Uh, you're not familiar with Tahiri or any of his uh, past I don't know. Friends? No, I don't know any of his past ex. Okay. Did anybody ever come to you and say, hey, Joe Budden's crazy kooky, or he's abused people in the past or anything like that? No, I mean, I heard rumors, but this was like after the fact of us already, you know, being in love and, and living together for that right. matter. You guys were sort of already there once We you were already together, yeah. Okay. In this track, he said that you cheated on him with a football player. I thought, why is old girl sucking off Derek Ward for Have you ever cheated on Joe or? I've never cheated on him. I've been completely loyal to him, nothing but good to him, the entire relationship. In the track, in the audio, he also talks about you having a miscarriage. The first you resemble my twin. Fast forward, you gave me identical twins, but then you lost it. Honestly, that murked my soul. Did you really have a miscarriage? Yes, I did. I had a miscarriage um, as a result of some actions that he decided to take. So what were those actions? I mean, we were having an argument. We were having an argument about uh, inappropriate behavior. Um, on Twitter, um, him being inappropriate with other women on Twitter. Basically, I mean, we got, in, we got into an argument, and um, he, you know, kind of just went into a rage and started throwing my stuff down the stairs, um, uh, my clothes and shoes and everything um, down the stairs. He's telling me to, to get out, and I just went into another room and just closed the door, locked the door, and he didn't like that. He kicked it, came over and kicked the door down, came into the room, grabbed me by my ankles and yanked me out of the bed multiple times. Um, and, and just basically ended up choking me um, so I couldn't breathe, slamming me up against the door, like uh, in the closet, the closet doors. Um, I told him that if he didn't stop, I was gonna call the police. So he, in, his, in an attempt to grab my phone from me, he threw me on the floor. Um, wrestling with me and ended up just throwing me on my back and grabbing me by my wrist and sitting on my stomach um, for half an hour while I was three months pregnant. So I hemmed you up, wasn't what I aimed to do, I ain't attack you, bitch I was restraining you. Did, did you call the police in that situation or? Yeah, as he, I called the police as soon as he let me go. Um, when he let me up I called the police and just packed some stuff and left the house. Mm. So, went to the hospital where I found out that I lost our daughter. So you did file charges against him? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He was arrested that night. It was the incident with Joe, the fight that you guys had at that particular moment that made you have a miscarriage? Yes. You guys knew if you were having a boy or a girl or? Um, n not at the moment of the fight. We didn't, we didn't know. I found that out um, when I found out that, that I was miscarrying. What are you doing to... To, to move past the whole situation with Joe? In all honesty, um, I started by dropping the charges against him. Um, I dropped all the charges against him uh, because I didn't want 
any of this to get out. I didn't want this situation to go public. I didn't want to have a public trial. It was already embarrassing enough that this has happened to me. And I never in my freaking life thought that I would ever be abused. And furthermore, that I would lose a child because of it. Mm -hmm. So in order for it to not go public, I dropped all the charges um, with the agreement and understanding that neither of us was ever going to talk about it. But seeing as how he decided to put out all of our public, uh, all of our business in, in a song and he, you know, heard that he, I heard that he's talking about the fact that he killed our daughter on this song. I can't believe that it happened I lost my unborn daughter when we fought I'm thinking I killed Aspen And that's when I thought that we'd be dead a while <laughs> and So I felt like it was um, my responsibility to, to let everybody know what actually happened, the truth of, of what happened. I didn't cheat on him. We weren't together. Uh, we aren't together now. Uh, we broke up that night that he decided that he was going to take an argument and make it physical. And we lost our daughter because of that. Do you feel like he's doing it for some type of uh, personal gain? Or? I don't, you know, I, I have no idea. I have no idea why anyone would ever want to, to tell people that they did something like this. Like, I have no idea. I don't think that anyone who's capable of doing um, doing something like this um, and costing the life of a child and then deciding to do a song about it. I don't think that that person, you know, is, is, is right. Like, I don't think that they could be seen. Another thing that he said was that you're currently pregnant. Is that true? No. I'm not pregnant and I haven't been since February 28th since we lost our daughter. Do you feel like Joe is mentally ill or he has problems or issues? Or? I mean, I'm not a doctor, I can't diagnose him, but in my opinion, he has, he has some serious issues and he really, really needs some help. If Joe Buttons was sitting here right now, what would you say to him? What would you have to say to him? Get help. Get help. What do you feel like you've learned from this whole situation? To, to try to get to know someone a, a little more or dig more, I guess, into their past and see, you know, if they have had any, any type of issues or, or something like that where um, this can be prevented. I mean, in all honesty, he is a very, very charming, very charming guy. He completely won me over, and I would have never, ever thought in my entire life that um, or in the entire relationship that he would ever put his hands on me. He had never done it before. That was the first and the last time that he put his hands on me. So what advice would you give to like uh, younger women out there that have gone through your situation or are going through your situation? Basically, if, if you do get any signs, if you see any signs, then you need to leave. You need to get out. Hopefully you don't, it doesn't get to the point where um, where it got me, where I, I lost my child because of this situation. And obviously, because of what he's doing now, it, it, he doesn't have any regret or remorse for what he did and, and what he cost me. This whole entire experience has been very traumatizing for me. Um, and like I said, I never thought that this would ever happen to me. And never would I have ever thought that he would put this out in, in, into the public that that he, that he did this or that this happened. It's embarrassing and very, very traumatizing.